Hey all, Eric Christensen here, pharmacist, meded101.com. I'm going to go over loop diuretics. So the mechanism of action, I'll let you read that for yourselves. Um, bottom line is they uh, cause a diuresis. You end up getting uh, an increase in urination um, through a runoff of fluid uh, from the bloodstream. So we're decreasing uh, that blood um, volume. And the reason we're doing this is likely because we have a fluid overload status like in uh, CHF or edema where there's too much fluid uh, that's causing other complications. So some examples um, of loop diuretics, You've got Lasix, Bumex, uh, Demodex, those are the three you're going to see used the most. And for some reason, um, you know, in my practice, what I've found is you... Um, if I ever see a duplication in this class, it's always Bumex and Lasix uh, for, for some reason. And maybe that's because they're the most common. I've definitely seen a few examples of uh, whether it's providers don't recognize the fact that um, somebody's on Bumex already uh, and realize that that's a loop diuretic already. Uh, that's, that's something to look out for there. Um, those two used in duplication, we, we shouldn't need to do that. Uh, in you know 99.9% .9 of cases uh, so something to look out for there so the side effects uh, that's what we're going to be monitoring for clinically uh, the number one point I want you to remember is it's going to cause electrolyte imbalances so loop diuretics are going to basically deplete uh, the body of electrolytes um, as it's depleting uh, the body of water essentially so, you know, you're looking at things like magnesium, calcium, and uh, potassium, uh, but we can monitor for that. And, you know, a good, a good case, a good reminder uh, that I want to remind you guys is sometimes we've got uh, as-needed orders medication for loop diuretics. So, for instance, if somebody's struggling uh, with uh, CHF, symptoms of edema, whatever a provider may prescribe a loop diuretic, as needed you know for a few days or if weight increases by x amount of pounds um, you may see those orders now the key is assessing with patients how much they are taking that and making sure there's a system in place that if they do take a lot of that as needed diuretic we have got to monitor those electrolytes closely so that's that's something to really think about and a mistake i've seen made uh, several times where it doesn't get monitored how often they're taking that as needed uh, loop diuretic. So some will prefer just to automatically um, schedule it, some will maybe have a PRN dose on top of it, um, but yeah in those those few instances uh, where PRNs are used look out for that. Urinary frequency can be you know a big problem in the elderly, uh, can lead to polypharmacy, you might you know see the addition of an anticholinergic uh, for that frequency, so that 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 can be problematic with with loop diuretics as well. Ototoxicity really pretty rare. Uh, if you have any see any issues with um, hearing, uh, especially if it's if the timing's right uh, with the loop diuretics, that might be something to consider to look out for. Uh, and then these drugs, like I said get that fluid out of the uh, circulatory system and when they do that you end up um, increasing the risk of uh, kidney failure essentially through like a dehydration where you, you don't have enough um, blood flow, blood supply, um, blood volume to um, keep that blood pressure up. So you might see an increase in serum creatinine and this is maybe especially risky if we start adding other drugs like NSAIDs, like um, ACE inhibitors would be maybe another example uh, where they can kind of, you know, work together um, to, to cause an acute renal failure. So again, we need to monitor that kidney function as well uh, with loop diuretics. And then obviously they, they reduce that blood volume. Uh, they're going to uh, lower blood pressure potentially as well, which we need to need to monitor uh, a patient's blood pressure. Thanks for watching. Plenty more medication education, MedEd 101. Uh, you can find me on Facebook and, and Twitter as well. Thanks for listening.